Yo, what's good? It's Shirley Entertainment TV, and I'm back with just another little short video real quick. A quick update um, kind of video. Um, I wanted to address the giveaway. Um, a lot of you know um, I am doing another giveaway. Uh, I posted, you know, I posted a video just the other day um, about the giveaway. And I know a lot of you who were here before, um, you know, wanted to rejoin. Obviously, you know, you already subscribed. You liked the video. I wanted to rejoin. I do not have any more of your in-game names. I deleted them all when I sent um, when I sent the uh, the credits and the guns because I didn't want to get confused on uh, who had won, and who didn't, and maybe send it to the wrong person when I eventually did another giveaway. So if you wanted to rejoin or you are joining again, make sure you drop your in-game name in the comment section so the way I can pick you out. And I can uh, I can give you your prize when the time comes. Um, I'll probably be giving that um, the prize away. Maybe let's see. Today's the tenth. I don't want to wait all the way until Christmas. It would be dope to give them away on Christmas, but I'm not I'm not gonna make y'all wait two weeks um, for the giveaway. Uh, I'll probably do it maybe Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. Give you guys enough time to see this video, see the previous video, and um. Yeah, I'll drop your in-game name. Um, I also wanted to address a question that I got in the Q&A that I missed. Um, where did I get my scars? Um, for those of you who don't know, you can actually see one on my hand right there. It's very, very small. Um, I have one on my knuckles too, but that one is pretty much, you, you can't even see it on camera. Uh, basically, I used to work in a kitchen, and this one I got, I was cutting an onion and I, I just fucking biffed it and it went right into my hand and I can't believe the scar is only that big because I mean it really it really sliced the side of my hand open um, but it, I guess it closed up pretty well um, I have the scar on my arm I don't know if you can see it maybe I'll stand up and it'll be a little bit more a little bit more pronounced this camera sucks it's like right here um, basically, back when I had my dog, um, he wasn't an aggressive dog, um, you know, even though he was a pig, he was the sweetest thing ever, but I liked to play with him very aggressively. Um, I would pull on the sides of his face or, like, the back of his leg, and he would turn around and he would, you know, he would growl at me and he would get low to the ground and he would jump at me. Um, of course, in a playful way, but he is still a dog, so, you know, he's got sharp teeth, he's got sharp claws. Um, and I would push him back and he'd come back at me and, you know, I'd, you know, pull on his face and, and just fuck with him because that's how I, that's how I like to play with my dogs. I like to play very aggressively with my dogs, um, not to make them aggressive, but because I like big dogs and I like to, you know, really not, not choke them. <laughs> I meant to go like this, like petting them. Um, I like to do that, and every time I would, I would rub him too hard, he'd like look at me. And then like, if I started getting down near his butt area, he'd be like, and he tried to, you know, he tried to bite my hand. So that's that's where I got that from. I was messing with him one day, and I pushed him back, and he came back at me. Um, he like caught his footing a lot quicker than he usually did, and he came back at me, and I wasn't like prepared to push him back, and so he was expecting me to push him back, but he just came running full speed, and he um, he likes to use his hands a lot. So as he came in, he kind of like jumped in the air a little bit and went like this, and came back down to get low to the ground again. And as he went like that, his claw actually just scraped the whole side of my arm and just opened it up. So, um, that's how I got that one, you know. I wasn't mad at him because, you know, I mean, it was it was my fault, really. <laughs> um, I have a scar on my elbow. You can kind of see it a little bit better now. Um, it just kind of looks like really smooth skin. It kind of goes down here, um, right in this area. Um... Back, this was back when I was, you know, younger, like way younger. I was probably maybe eight, maybe seven or eight. Um, I was riding my bike in the rain, and I think we were playing cops and robbers, you know, me and my friends that I had at the time. Um, I believe we were playing cops and robbers, and we were, like, using bikes as well. I don't understand why, but um, it was raining, and I was riding my bike in the rain, running from the cops, and I hit a corner really hard. And my tires just whiffed it. Like, the, my whole bike came out from underneath me. And, I mean, I was going really quick. I'm not, like, I slid almost halfway down the street. 
this entire street, like, baseball style, like, I was coming in for fucking home base, and I landed right on my elbow, and the street just sanded my fucking elbow all the way from here to here, um, and I, like, I just gashed it open, you could see the bone and the cartilage, and every time, like, every time I went like this, it would pop, you know, so, that was, that was pretty nasty, um, I never went and got stitches for any of them, but just why they scarred so bad, you just really can't see it that well, um, you can see it in real life, like, I'm looking right at it, it's right down here, it just looks like really smooth skin, um, never got stitches for anything, really, because, I mean, we really didn't, we couldn't afford to go to the hospital, and the healthcare wasn't that great, um, I pretty much went home, and my mom was like, well, boy, you're a fucking idiot, but we're gonna wrap it up in paper towels and duct tape, as ghetto as it sounds, and as unrealistic as it sounds, that's what we did, um, my finger kind of pops, I don't know how you, like, if you can see, like, this is how my pinky moves on this hand, this one kind of moves like this. You might even, if I get close enough to the mic, you might be able to hear it. Here, let me see. I don't know if you can hear that because, like, it's not very audible. Um, but my, my pinky does pop um, because when I was younger, and I mean way younger, like two years old now. Now we're young. I don't even remember this. You would think you remember it because it's pretty traumatizing, but... Um, my mother definitely remembers it and she tells me all the time the reason why my finger pops is because when I was younger my brother nearly nearly cut off my pinky with a pair of scissors and my mother came in and there was blood all over the walls all over the couch and she's like what what happened and I'm fucking I, I can't remember if she said I was crying or if I was like just like shook like in a state of shock and um, basically my pinky was hanging on by, like, just the skin, man. Like, he had cut all the way through my... I don't know how deep it went. Like I said, I don't remember. But from what my mom says, my pinky was barely hanging on to my hand. And um, he had the scissors in his hand. So, um, yeah, that that that's fucking crazy. I can't believe I don't remember. I, like, I don't remember any of that. I don't remember, you know, like, what the scissors looked like. Or even remember seeing my pinky fucking uh, hanging there. But I didn't go and get stitches for that. The only thing I went to go get stitches for... If you can see that, if I could figure out how cameras work, right underneath my chin, right there, right there, it looks kind of like a double X. Um, I was running around as a kid. I tripped on something and hit my chin, and my the, my bottom tooth went right through my lip. Um, I did go and get stitches for that. So um, yeah, I don't remember that either. I don't remember. I was a clumsy ass fucking kid. We did a lot of stupid shit when we were younger. But I don't remember most of it. I do remember the elbow. Um, and then, you know, like slicing my hand open. You know, that was, um, that was when I was just old enough to realize what was going on. I have a scar on my hand. Man, y'all really can't see them through this camera that I have. Because the camera sucks. Um, I, even though I know you, I know you can't see it. I know you because I can barely see it. And the people I show can barely see it. But it basically just looks like a, I mean, I'm white, like I'm pale, like I'm almost pale fucking white. Um, but you can see uh, an even whiter mark on my hand right here. I was younger. My friend said he found a million dollar lottery ticket and I was fucking dashing to go see. I was like, yo, let me see that. And he was like, no, because you're going to take it. And we were running down the, the railroad tracks right next to a Wawa. And uh, I fucking just, my, I took a nap apparently and I fell the fuck over and sliced my hand open on the rocks and we went into the Wawa, wrapped it up with paper towels, and the as I'm going to leave with this wad of paper towels in my hand, uh, the lady comes behind the counter, because obviously she, she thinks I'm stealing something, um, but I mean, like, I wasn't, and so she comes over, and she was like, what's under the paper towel, and I was like, oh, you know, I, you know, fucked up my hand, as every kid does, and she was like, oh, let me see, I was like, okay, and we unwrapped it, and my hand's just fucking covered in blood, this, this, this paper towel that we had, and you know it's like, you know, that, that fucking Wawa paper towel, like, that really super thin, uh, you know, just covered in blood, and she was like, you know, I'm not really allowed to do this, but I'm gonna go to the back, and I'm gonna get some antiseptics, and, and, and clean out your wound, because we didn't clean it, like, I didn't even wash my hand, I still had bits of, like, very small rock in my hand, and dirt, um, because we were, we were just stupid-ass kids, man, you know, we didn't, we didn't really think 
very much when we when we did things. Now I uh, now I don't I don't get anything kind of like that. I almost I almost fell off of a roof when I was doing roofing. Uh, would have been like a thirty foot drop almost. So I mean that could have been the end of me. But you know all this stuff was just small. You know kid stuff. Uh, yeah. But basically that's where I got my scars. I'm trying to think if I have any other ones. And if I do, they're probably not in places that y'all want to maybe see. Like, maybe my thigh. I might have a scar on my thigh, but I'm not pulling down my pants to show you the scar on my motherfucking thigh. Let me tell you something, son, because these thighs, these thighs are blind, motherfucker. Um, but yeah, essentially, essentially, that's it. I got, I got, I got plenty of scars, because I, I, I scar so easy. I don't know why, but I, I scar so easy. You know, you would have think something I just, you know, sliced open my hand. That would have fucking, you know, you'd have, th you know, you'd have thought that that would have healed without scarring. Um, but it didn't. Um, and if you're watching this far, um, I, ha I just have one question. Because, personally, I know a lot of you came here because of Dead Frontier. You know, I uploaded Dead Frontier content. And, and um, you know, whether it got suggested to you or you were looking up Dead Frontier content and my, my channel just so happened to pop up. I know a lot of you came here from Dead Frontier. And I haven't uploaded anything other than Dead Frontier in quite a while. Um, I just wanted to know, I wanted to ask how many of you would watch if I started uploading other content. Like, I start, I plan on recording Dead Frontier 2 very soon, but games like, you know, uh, 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 just new games that are dropping, um, I, I was playing Remnant of the Ashes and Far Cry New Dawn before I started doing, um, before I started doing Dead Frontier, and, uh, I mean, if you want to laugh, go check those out, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, just go, just, just go check them out, that's all I'm saying, um, but if I started playing new games, like I said, January 1st, I do want to start broadening the horizon, because I can't keep recording Dead Frontier 24-7, because I'm going to run out of things to do eventually, um, when I start recording new stuff, I want to know, you know, how many of you will watch and, and continue to support. And I know there's quite a few of you, because I know a lot of you uh, um, just watch my content for, for the content that it is. You know, me, uh, you know, you watch content for me and the game and, and the overall package of the video, regardless of the game. Um, and I appreciate that, so thank you so much for that. Um, I just wanted to know, I don't want to start recording something else and 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 people start getting you know a lot of people start getting upset with me if it was up to me i would just record other things but since um you know the algorithm nowadays is a little messed up i want to in order for us to keep building the channel and continue to do great things with it i'm going to need um the support from all of you um, and I know quite a few of you, you know, you got my back, you know, just like I have yours. I upload every day and I make, I make, I, at least I think I make okay content. Um, I'm definitely not the funniest person, but I hope I'm not the dullest person you've ever seen, uh, recording videos. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to know, you know, how many of you might be, uh, interested in seeing other games like, you know, like Remnant of the Ashes, Far Cry New Dawn, Destiny, any game that might be dropping, maybe some horror games, um, I just want to know, it was a quick question, um, so yeah, make sure that you, uh, leave your in-game name down below, so that way I can, um, if you're a winner, I can, uh, give you your prize, uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe button, hit the share button, definitely leave a comment, positive or negative, it doesn't bother me, I just want to see some feedback, and if you really enjoyed it that much, and you don't want to miss the giveaway finale, because it might be you, um, and you don't want to miss more content that might be coming out, be sure to definitely go to an internal post notification so you can notified every time I upload a new video because you're not going to miss what is next. Thank you guys so much for watching.